If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to Module 101 of the Ruckus IoT Suite Introduction. This program has been designed specifically for the Technology Specialist approval process. My name is Andy Barnes, I'm Director of IoT Solutions Engineering, and within the next series of presentations, videos, and tutorials, we'll be covering everything you need to know to become a Technology Specialist for Ruckus IoT platforms. IoT is a very vast and large area. It covers everything from cities to small rooms to MDU environments. The key thing about understanding with IoT is how do you take a, a wide range of technologies, solutions and offerings from different parties and bring them all together to solve issues and problems outlined by customers. Each of the relevant verticals that we're going to deal with or we're going to cover in this presentation each have different problems from smart cities where large areas and huge quantities of sensors, devices and data need to be gathered to much smaller environments, for example, hospitality, where the applications may be more along the lines of onboarding door locks or finding uh, room service trays or smaller applications. And all the applications in between, for example, education, large public venue, healthcare and MDU, all have different needs, requirements and applications that need to be met. And IoT is the best outcome for those. One of the biggest problems with IoT is that you have different manufacturers that are selling technologies. There are different alliances, different companies that have invested te in technologies like LoRa, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as software companies or software alliances that are working on protocols specifically designed for IoT like MQTT. On the other hand, you have companies that are trying to monetize and, and turn applications into revenue. So these could be simple things like you know, voice uh, activation, uh, for examples like Amazon and from Google, to large city applications where people are, are bringing in multiple technologies trying to manage cities at a much larger level. And then everything in between that. So you have law enforcement looking at IoT, you have uh, industrial IoT applications, you have lots of these different kind of interfaces and applications that have been developed in a proprietary format that are really difficult to interface with and that are, are really just about monetizing and turning in turning it into revenue. The key thing really is where do we fit into this environment and, and the, the, the whole purpose of what we developed around the IoT suite is how you can connect technologies to applications in a seamless manner. And we do that through a combination of our product offering with our in IoT integrated access points, our IoT controller and our virtual smart zone platform, along with the solution that we can build on top of those environments and on top of those applications and those, on top of those solutions. So as we look at the Ruckus IoT suite and what it consists of today to, deploy, to be deployed in, uh, in your application, we really have three major components. The first component is, is our access point. So the Ruckus uh, access points that are out there today are typically Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac access points. Those are all capable of being upgraded to support IoT. And we do that by, by the addition of an IoT module we call the i100 module. That is designed to plug into the bottom of an existing access point using the USB port that will then, through software, switch on and enable that radio to be used within different IoT applications. Alternatively, you can actually buy access points from Ruckus with onboard radios, onboard modules. So all of our Wi-Fi 6 access points now include at least one IoT radio. And that radio can be either Zigbee or BLE and is fully software configurable. And some of our newer higher end APs now uh, are also including multiple radios. So now you can have Bluetooth and Zigbee running concurrently on the same access point, giving yourself more density of IoT devices. The second component we have is what we call the Ruckus IoT controller. The IoT controller really is a central repository and an interface for everything to do with the IoT network. So all of our Ruckus access points connect into the Ruckus IoT controller using a secure protocol that allows us now to bring all of the IoT device states information from the gateway all the way into the controller. And the controller provides us with a standard interface to allow us to manage and get insight into what is going on within our IoT network. And then on top of that, we also have our wired or our wireless controller. This is used to deliver the firmware and the software into 
the uh, access points and also to provide management of our wireless network and to provide any additional configuration that might be required on the access points that may be specific to switching on or using the IoT radio. So from a high level, when we look at our uh, network, we actually have a, a number of key components in, within those uh, devices and those uh, units that I've just outlined. So on the bottom edge, we have our, our IoT sensors. These are going to be connected into our IoT enabled uh, access points or IoT enabled gateways to provide us with our last few meters of radio connectivity. So in our different applications, we may have door locks that are using a proprietary Zigbee protocol. We might have uh, generic uh, industry standard Zigbee door locks. We may also have Bluetooth devices that maybe are Bluetooth doors or uh, light bulbs or um, you know, devices connected that are using a, a standard Bluetooth connectivity. And then we may also have Bluetooth beacons within our environment as well. So these beacons are able to be transmitting all the time and detected by our access point and they might be used for location services. Now all of this data is brought into our AP and it's then separated onto its own separate network and forwarded only to the IoT controller. So all of the IoT traffic is separated within our LAN. So our IoT traffic goes to our IoT controller and our wireless traffic goes out to our virtual smart zone um, and our wired network. Within the IoT controller now, we manage everything. So the physical security, all the door locks, lights, sensors, all of the devices on the edge are now managed from within the IoT controller, including things like providing details about location-based services, the rules engine, everything runs within that IoT controller suite. We then provide a standard management API uh, on the upper edge that allows us now to write an application and communicate into the IoT controller using that API. So this really now becomes very easy for us to communicate with third party services or third party servers within the network and provide a single point of contact into our IoT network, providing security and a, a single managed pane of glass. One of the key things when you're looking at IoT though is not just about you know, the technology and, and the different uh, radios that are out there, but it's about the ecosystem. So it's about the devices that we connect into our IoT ecosystem and our IoT network so that we can easily manage and provide capabilities and solutions within that network. One of the key things to understand with the IoT suite is that we are based on industry standards. So we support stand anything that is a standard uh, Zigbee 3 device um, or a standard BLE beaconing device, we are able to detect and work with out of the box. So, you know, smoke sensors, water, contact, door locks, cameras, you know, panic buttons, and all a whole range of environmental sensors can all be connected and communicated with using the, the IoT suite and our standard protocol interface. Then on top of that, we can also support proprietary devices. So working together with key strategic alliance partners like SOTA Technologies, Omron, Asa Abloy, Dormacaba and various others, we're able to now work on their, uh, the solution to integrate their protocol within the IoT platform so that we're able to communicate with their devices on the bottom edge, but also forward the data into their cloud services so that we're able to provide a secure connect network connection but also provide a reduced overall deployment cost because we're able to utilize our network to feed their data into their cloud. And one of the key things to look at when you're looking at uh, IoT is, is it's all about the leadership. It's, it's, we're working with leading partners that are out there today. And those leading partners, as we're engaging with them and we're integrating within the Ruckus IoT suite, that automatically forwards us and helps us to engage with the customers that are using that partnership want to use IoT and are really keen to understand how the two technologies work together and how the partnership works. And here's an example of how utilizing leading partnerships and leading partners technology within the IoT suite helps us to win in really large key uh, deployments globally. So just as a side note, one of the key things to also look at when you're looking at the IoT is the amount of material that's out there to help you. So within the Ruckus IoT group, we have done a whole range of webinars on the technology around the IoT uh, platform, um, but also vertical specific uh, webinars around things like hospitality for panic buttons, how to add, add additional layers of security within the IoT platform, um, how also to then tie it into larger ecosystem partners, 
people like VMS vendors so that you can tie IoT devices and VMSs together with cameras so you can now assign a, de a device with an event and therefore see who, who triggered that event and video. So there's a whole range of uh, webinars and videos that are available on the support site that you are quite welcome to go and download. Please go to the partners.ruckuswireless.com forward slash internet things and you'll find a full list of all of the webinars um, they'll be updated continually going forward.